Yay. I had to retry. Right. Do you hear me? Can you hear me? Am I actually live with you all? Are we on the same stream? Let me know. I've been waiting here for five minutes and watching a, a circle going round and round. So let me know if you're here. <laughs> Just testing. Are we together? Hope so. <laughs> Let me know, are we together on the same one? So, hopefully, we are, but nobody's answering me. Uh, dun, dun, dun. see if I can uh, do I share this let me know if you're here Gonna share this link again with the group. Okay, so you can hear. And see but you can't access chat okay all right so i can see the chat so all right well the chat was there before but it doesn't matter at least i know you're here <laughs> so good morning melissa good morning jane so i've just put me set the live I think I had to restart it because it just wasn't beginning so standing balance <laughs> oh <Oy>, yay <laughs> wow new new technology um challenges eh that was a complete new one for me so today we're going to do standing balance let's start in hero's pose you can see just one message, yeah, great. That means that I am actually live. <laughs> well, let's go on our knees. Take a block or a cushion between the buttocks and the heels. Now today, definitely have your blocks and maybe a strap if you use a strap for um, any of the standing balances where you know you need to can't reach the foot. So let's arrive fully on our mats. Taking our hands into our laps, just place one hand on top of the other, just gently rest them there with the palms facing up. Lengthen the spine long and tall. Take a little tuck of the chin towards the chest, just gently. So lengthen the neck and allow the crown of the head to Extend and reach to the sky. Soften your shoulders and arms. And soften into the body. So sitting upright but without rigidity. And then drop into the sensations of the breath. Take your focus and attention there. Taking a breath in for four through the nose, and then breathing out for four through the nose. 
So four, four, breathing in for four and out for four, just settling the breath down into a nice steady rhythm. Nice and open, flowing. If it feels right for you, use a little ujjayi sound, so swirling the breath in the back of the throat. Just feeling the energy of your breath, your prana, your fresh new breath this morning. Bringing a gentle smile to the mouth, to the lips to relax the muscles of the face. And check in with yourself how you feel. Check in with the sensations of the body. And allow them to be as they are. So practicing allowing. Practice, practicing acceptance of what is, is. So any sensations, any feelings that arise, any thoughts that arise, just observe them and allow them to be. Maybe if a thought arises, just let it float away, like a little bubble in the breeze. Just settling yourself into present moment awareness. Noticing this moment. And maybe bringing in a little gratitude. Gratitude for this moment. This opportunity in this moment. Be aware. Be aware of what is. Be aware of our life in this moment. For we live in the moment. The future is yet to come and the past is in the past. We live in the present moment. And now choosing, finding your intention. Your energy will follow your intention. So wherever your intention goes, the energy will follow. So what do you want to manifest? Create that intention. I am in the present moment, in the present tense. Bring that into the here and now. And repeat three times to yourself your unique, individual, resonating with you intention. Repeat it three times, either aloud or silently to yourself, to your inner mind's eye. So along with allowing comes patience. Patience with yourself. So in today's practice, should you wobble, coming out of balance, work to come into balance. So lean into it and accept the wobbles. We all have them part of our learning, it's part of our challenge. So take the challenge on and accept it with loving arms. Give those challenges a big hug and smile. Enjoy the process. Enjoy the journey. So opening up your eyes. Let's take ourselves over onto our knees. <clears throat> Just have your black um, blocks and um, straps and things 
to the side so that you can grab them whenever you need them. Let's start in our tabletop. Spread your fingers wide and feel the hands root to the earth. Feel them grounded. Feel the shins and the tops of the feet pressing into the mat. Feel the contact with the mat. Take your knees hip distance apart and check your knees are actually underneath the hips. So you're stacking the hips over the knees. Likewise, the shoulders stack over the hands, over the wrists. And let's engage now into our pelvic floor. So I had an appointment yesterday, a little checkup with things going on in my lady area. <laughs> and I was just reminded that we have to do our pelvic floor exercises. So for all the ladies out there, do your pelvic floor exercises. They're really, really important for the health of your pelvic floor, keeping everything really working because it's a muscle. And like everything else, muscles need to be constantly um, engaged. So engage into your pelvic floor, your mula bandana. And then draw your navel to your spine. Really squeeze it in. So just staying nice and static here. Squeezing in. And hold it there. Don't forget to breathe. So breathing in and out as well. And let's take some balancing tiger. So reaching, right arm, left leg, hold it there. And hold it here for five breaths. Extend the leg, we're going to just balance statically. So engaging into your abdominal area. Reach the fingertips away, extend the heel away. Squeeze into the thigh for the lifted leg, flex that foot, push the heel away. Two more breaths. Choosing your breath can be in for four and out for four. And then place that right hand down. Let's go over to the other side. Right leg extends, left leg, left arm, right leg. Reach the fingers forwards. We're looking down to the mat, so a nice long neck. Imagine you're extending from the crown of your head forwards like it's reaching to your fingers. Reaching forwards like your fingertips. Extend the heels and really flex into that quad, that thigh, the lifted leg. Squeeze into the belly. Engage. Another two breaths. And then place it down. Taking a little cat cow, inhale. So lift the chest, lift the tailbone, belly drops. Head and heart lifts. Then exhale, push into the to the earth with the, the hands, the shins, the feet, driving and doving the, the space between the shoulder blades up to the sky, chin to chest. Inhale for four. Exhale for four. Inhale for four. Exhale four. Let's do that two more times. Inhaling, lifting. Exhale, tailbone drops. Really push into the air. One more of each. Really feel yourself in your body, in the space of your body, in your breath in the moment and then into tiger so lifting your left leg lift the chest so you're taking the body is doing the, the cow but your leg is driving your foot up to the sky and then exhale knee to forehead or nose then drop it down inhale lift leg rises up chest and heart lifts and exhale Knee to nose or forehead, drop it down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Okay, let's tap the toes. Lift the hips up, drive the hips up. And then bring the toes. 
the knees down, hover. So lift the hips up. And then drop the knees down to hover above the mat. Inhale for four. Take the heels down towards the mat. And then knees down towards the mat. Hover. Exhaling. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Into down dog. And then exhale. Bring the knees down to hover. And then getting into your downward facing dog. Pedal out the legs. Send your chin to your chest. Your drishti to your navel. Let's sway your hips from side to side. Give your tail a little whack. Stay on one side. So take a pause to one side. Over to the other side. See so on the inner blade of one foot and the outer blade of the other. And then back to center. Let's walk our feet to the top. Take a little rag doll. Clasp your elbows, sway from side to side. Nod the head, yes. And shake your head, no. Lovely circles with the nose. Just releasing any tension in the neck. In the vertebra of the neck. In the muscles. Take a little painting off the floor with your fingertips. Bend into the knees here, just play with this. Make the movements nice and fluid. And then to centre, with a little bend in the knees, a little shake out of the arms and the shoulders. Let's peel ourselves up to standing. Nice and slowly with the head rising last. Coming to stand in Tadasana, mountain pose. So settling ourselves into a grounded position with our feet. Toes together, big toes together. Spread your toes wide and then pull up and down. Root those feet into the earth, lift the inner arches of the feet. Squeeze into the thighs, a little the kneecaps lift. Roll the shoulders back and down. Checking on that pelvic tilt. Grow the, the spine long and tall, reaching the crown up to the sky. Roll the shoulders back and down. And then engage into the arms all the way down to the fingertips. You can close your eyes if it helps you to imagine the energy flow up on the breath in from your feet. Sweeping all the way up to the top of the head. And then exhale the energy down through the head, the neck, the shoulders, the arms to the fingertips. Breathing in, flow the energy, sweep the energy from the feet, from the ground. Up to the top of the head. And then exhale the energy all the way down to the arms, to the fingertips. One more time. So really grounding your feet and allowing the energy to flow freely through the body. Okay, so over to our first balance Vrikshasana. So if you need to, Touching onto a wall, use the support of a wall if you need to. It's okay, completely okay to do that. So first let's balance on our right leg. So really push that big toe into the earth. Begin to lift, find a drishti spot on the floor to help you balance a little bit better. So use a nice spot on the floor for your gaze. Draw your right knee up towards your chest. Give your knee a little hello kiss. Good morning, knee. And then finding your place for your left foot to either touch to the earth, to the calf, 
to above the knee, but not on the knee. Take your hands to your chest. Zip everything up in your pelvic floor. Navel to spine, perineum. If you wish to take your hands up to the sky. Draw your arms alongside your ears. Keep looking to that spot on the floor. Five deep Ujjayi breaths in and out. Tree pose. Rooted into the earth. Growing up to the sky. Two more breaths. Hands to your heart. Extend your left leg forwards. Flex the foot, squeeze. And lower it down. Keep your legs a little shake out. Good morning, thighs. Left leg. Big toe. Push that in. Really feel the connection of your foot. Really ground it into the earth. Padabanda. Find your drishti spot. Lift the right knee. Bring that to your chest. Greet your knee. With a warning kiss. Hello. Find your place for your foot. No competition, no ego, no, no judgment. So this is all about allowing and giving yourself patience. Lots of patience, lots of love, lots of gratitude. Grow your tree branches up to the sky if that feels good or keep your hands to your heart. Your choice, your practice. You do what's right for you. Take another two deep breaths in and out. Keep the breath flowing. And then when you're ready, hands back to heart. Nice and slow with your movements, no rush. And then extending the right heel forwards. Squeeze into the thigh and then lower the leg down. Nice, slow. Nice and slow. Let's take three. So your namaskar A's. So back to our mountain pose. So reset your mountain. Strong mountain. Breath in, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, forward fold. Sweep the arms wide into Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Scoop the belly up, gaze forwards, heart lifts. Hold the breath as you plant the hands, step your feet into plank. Exhale, let's go knees, chest, chin to start. Slide your heart between your hands, inhale into your, just do Salambhasana. And then through Bidalasana, squeeze navel to spine, lift the hips up. Let's take three breaths. Adho Mukhasvanasana. Planting the heels down towards the floor. They don't have to reach if they don't reach, that's okay. Taking your gaze to your navel. Scoop the belly up, draw your navel to your spine. Soften into the shoulders, into the elbows. Don't lock out the joint. And don't hunch the shoulders by the ears. Take another breath in to bend. The knees come onto the balls of the feet, look forwards. Exhale, step up to the top. Inhale for half lift. You can take your fingertips to the earth or to your shins. Then Uttanasana, exhale, forward fold. Hands now plant the hands, bend the knees if you need to. Inhale, sweep the arms away. Sweep the feet. Lift your heart and gaze up to your hands. Exhale, flowing all the way down. Swan dive down. Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift. Your choice to step back on a holding of the breath or to jump into the plank. And then taking either Chaturanga Dandasana or knees chest chin. Your choice. Inhale for Salambhasana or a full Urdhva Mukhasvanasana. Exhale, navel to spine or through Bidalasana into down for next to Checking in with your breath. Nice and steady. Inhale, bend the knees. 
thighs come to belly, exhale, hop step to the top, your choice. Inhale to lift the heart and gaze, scoop the belly up. Exhale, deeply forward fold, plant your hands firmly to the earth, drop your head towards your legs, root the feet, inhale, squeeze the thighs, lift your arms, bring the hands together, look up to your thumbs. Exhale, last flow down. Inhale, half lift. Hold the breath, plant the hands, hop step or jump into your plank. Exhale, lower. Squeeze your elbows into your sides. Inhale, up top. Exhale, downward facing top. From here, we're actually going to transition into Ashta Chandrasana. So inhale, sweep the right leg to the sky. Look forwards, bend that knee of the lifted leg, step it between the hands. Five breaths, Ashtachandrasana, right leg forward. Reach your arms to the sky, look up between your hands, into your, your balance. So dropping the heel, not to the floor, but drive it away from me, that back heel. Squeeze into the back leg, thigh. Two more breaths. Big breath in, reaching forwards, frame the front foot. Into plank, exhale, lower. Elbows tuck close to the body. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Transition to the left side, after Chandra, and the inhale. The left foot to the sky, bend the knee. Step it between the hands. Stay on the ball and back foot. Ashta Chandrasana, left leg forwards, right leg back. Drop into the hips. Look up to the space between the hands. Two more breaths. Inhale, exhale, frame your front foot. Into plank. Exhale, lower. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Take another breath in. Right leg lift. Step it forward into Ashtra Chandrasana one more time for one breath. Then we're going to reach forward and transition into Warrior Three. Five breaths here. It's extending the arms forwards, lifting the back leg up to about hip height. Keeping the hips kind of parallel with the earth, not twisting into the torso one way or the other. Big breath in, exhale, lower the foot down, bring the front foot. Let's do that on the other side, lower down. Up dog, inhale, down dog, exhale. Left leg to the sky, step it forwards. So we're going to go through Ashta Chandrasana for one breath. And then Virabhadrasana three. Flex the heel of the lifted leg. Two more breaths. Just allowing any wobbling to happen if it has to happen. But really challenge yourself. Frame your front foot. Step your foot back. Exhale, lower. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Three breaths. First breath in, nice and deep. Feel the lungs inside, a breath out. Another one. Then a lovely lion's breath, sticking the tongue out, looking to the third eye. Bend the knees, look forwards, hop, step, jump up. Breath in, do a half lift. Breath out, forward fold. Arms sweep wide. Look up, do a little micro back leg. Hips forward. And then back to some city Tadasana. Inhale into Sayanamaskarbi. Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Half lift, breath in, hold the breath. Step, jump back. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. 
Inhale, right into the sky, step it forwards. Pull out the foot down. We're going to go into Trikonasana. Take your left hand onto your left hip, leg straight. Check your feet are lined up centrally on your mat. Roll the right shoulder back. Look on to the sky. And take your hand to your heart. Squeeze into the side waist. Look up to your top hand. And then bring your arms by your head. One big breath in. Look to your front foot. Take hold of a block. Coming into Ardha Chandrasana. So hands on the right, hands on the block. Open your hip to the side. Look up to the top. And if you can, flex the leg, foot of the lifted leg. So you feel like you're lifting away from that block where the hand is down on the block. Not too much weight and pressure into that hand. One more big breath in and out. Exhale, look down. Step the right foot, bend the left foot down, frame the front foot. Let's transition onto the other side. Through a vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left leg to the sky. Kick it up, step it forwards. So unfortunately, I'm facing the other way. So I'm gonna turn around. But you don't turn around. You've got your left foot forwards, right foot back. Straighten the legs, have your left hand somewhere down by the calf or by the knee. Don't go too low down. Take your right hand onto your hip. Squeeze the thighs. So it's almost like you're pulling your thighs towards each other. Open the chest. Forward and then 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock arms. Lift into your side waist. Squeeze, squeeze. Hand to heart. Look up. Ujjayi breath. Arms reach. Look to your front foot. Left hand on the block now. Lifting the right leg, hip height. So not too much weight on that supporting block on the floor. You can have your hand, fingertips touching the earth if it feels good. You don't have to use a block. But sometimes having a block just lifts our asset up a little bit rather than dumping down into the floor. Squeeze into the lifted leg thigh, flex that foot. One more big breath in and out. Exhale, look down to your front foot. Hands down, frame your front foot. Back to plank, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Two breaths. Bend the knees, look forwards, exhale, hop. Simple jump up, half lift, inhale, down, down we go, forward fold, exhale, into chair, Uttakatasana. Squeeze the thighs towards each other, look between the hands, and then a nice breath in, coming back to Tadasana, mountain pose. I'm having a very thirsty day today. Sometimes talking and doing is thirsty work. <laughs> so let's take another Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, arms sweep wide. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Hop, step, jump back. Exhale, to lift. Inhale, to lift. Exhale, hips drive back. Right leg to the sky, breath in, step it forwards. Let's come into a warrior one. So we're going to transition into a few different things here. So warrior one. So the hips face forwards. This always feels a little bit kind of weird on the pelvic area because the you know, tendency is to want to take the hips to the side. So really try to bring them around to face the front. And then into warrior two. So now the hips do go forwards. You can widen your stance. 
Check your heel, lines up with the back in arch, sink to the hips. Look to your front hand, smile on the face, sink a little lower. Aim into Utita Pazvakanasana. Forearm to thigh to start. Roll that left arm, shoulder back. Look up beyond the hand. Up to the sky. Sink a little lower. You know where we're going. Hand down to the ankle. You can even bind the arm behind the back. Reach for the right thigh. Yep, we're going to burn to paradise. So, the right arm reaches under to clasp hold of the left hand. Look to your right foot, little birdie hops, bringing the left foot in. Now, if you didn't take the bind earlier, take the bind now, set that bind up. So reaching the right arm underneath the right thigh and the left hand behind your back, clasp the hands together, really push into the standing leg, which is your left leg, Find a spot on the floor, noticing any wobbles, that's okay. Extend the leg if you can a little bit. And then when you're ready, slowly and gently placing the right foot back down, little birdie hops, getting that right, that right leg and left leg back into you extended side angle. Frame the front foot. Let's do that on the other side. Vinyasa. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Left leg to the sky. Stepping it forwards. So we're going to warrior one first. Warrior one. So back foot. 45 degrees, hips face forwards, reaching up. Really notice the breath, noticing the anchoring foundations of our feet into the earth. Into warrior two. So maybe just reset the feet a little wider this time for this. Sinking into the hips, reach the arms wide. A smile on the face, sink a little lower, and then now extend the side ankle. Only something precious in your left hand as you reach your right arm alongside the right ear. I have my back to you, forgive me for that. Look up to the sky beyond your arm, and down to ankle. Extend into the hips a bit more. Arm behind the back. It's good you can see me from behind. Reaching for the left thigh. And then the left arm goes under the leg. And then clasping the hands behind the back. Look to your front foot. And take your little birdie hops gently, gently. So that we're balancing on our right leg. So you can take the bind from here if you didn't bind yet. So, come on the ball of the left foot. Preparing my right foot by really rooting it into the earth. Find a spot on the floor to look to. And a nice breath in. Lifting your chest. Lifting the heart. And then extending the leg only if you wish. Don't have to straighten the leg out. Two more breaths. Bending the knee. Bring it down nice and slowly, as gracefully as you can. And then little birdie hops. Back. Release the hand down, arm overhead, just to reset that center side angle. Plant the hands down, let's vinyasa. Exhale, lower. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. One breath in and out. 
Bend the knees, look forwards, exhale to land. Just off to the top of the mat, breath in to lift. Half lift, exhale, deeply forward fold. Stretch and flex the legs, plant the hands down. And then sweeping the arms away. Arriving back at mountain pose through Red Vahastasana. Just a little bit more balancing to do. We started late, <laughs> so unfortunately we'll finish a little bit late too. Thanks to YouTube keeping us waiting. But we got here anyway. So here we go with our strap if you need it. All right, Tita has the Padangushtasana. So for this one, we're going to bounce on our left leg. You might have to take your peace fingers around the big toe or taking a strap around the foot. It's not everybody can reach the foot. So this is where we bend ourselves down towards our lifted leg. So use the strap for that or holding onto the foot. Now you don't have to extend and straighten the extended lifted leg. It doesn't have to straighten. It's going to take five breaths here. You have a really small micro bend into the supporting standing leg. You don't have to lock out the knee. Then from here, take your foot and shake it this way into the right hand, right hand, right foot, taking your jhana mudra and then extending, tilting the weight forwards, so kind of lifting the right leg up. Two more breaths. And then into eagle. So either figure four or your eagle pose. So it's the figure four with the legs all wrapping the leg around the foot and the opposite bind of the arms. One more breath in and out. And then over to the other side. So now we're right leg, right hand on the hip, strap around the foot, find a spot on the floor, allowing all of those wobbles to happen. If they have to happen, let them happen. Just take the challenge. Challenges change us and help us to grow. And into dances. And then into eagle. So figure of four. Or so it's left arm underneath, right arm, left leg over the top and round to the back. Squeeze into the thighs, navel to spine. Two more breaths. And then slowly unwrap the arms and legs. Take a step back, hip distance apart this time with the feet and the hips are facing forwards. Let's clasp opposite elbows. We'll take a reverse prayer. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold down. Into Padmasana. So the left hip is squeezing forwards and the right hip back. Another three breaths. So as you exhale, really draw the chest down towards the leg. Drishti to big toe. Into Paravrita Trikonasana. So release the bind of the arms. Lift the chest a little bit. Take your hand to the outside of the right foot or onto a block. So take your block onto the outside of the foot. Have your right hand on your hip. Squeeze the thighs towards each other. Lift into the belly and start to roll that right shoulder back. Lift your right arm to the sky or keep your hand onto the hip. Five breaths.
Inhale to look down to your front foot. Let's take a Ashta Chandrasana on this side. And then another warrior three. And then Paravita has the Padangashasana. So this time we're going to take the right hand around the big toe of the left foot or a strap. Extend the leg and reach the arm back. Once again, wobbles. All natural, all normal, all good. And slowly release. And then come into Paravrita Ardha Chandrasana. So revolved half moon, left hand down, left leg lifts, right arm lifts. And lastly, a standing split. Lift that left leg up, hold onto the right ankle with the right foot. Lower the left leg. Let's vinyasa around to the other side. So let's take a little reset with both sides. Exhale, lower. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. We're going to do that all on the other side. Inhale, lift left leg. Step it forwards. We're going to start with Paswatanasana. So right foot, not in line with the left foot. Hips facing forwards. Check the facing forwards. Take the bind of the arms, either clasp the opposite elbows or your reverse breath. Inhale to lift, exhale, folding the hip, hinging from the hip creases down of the left leg, drishti to the big toe. Drive the right hip forwards, left hip back, roll the shoulders away from the ears. With every exhale, allowing yourself to lower down a little bit further. One more breath in and out. Inhale to lift and un. Find the arms, take your right hand across the outside of the left foot, left hand onto the hip, or take your left hand onto the, sorry, your right hand onto the block that's on the outside of the left foot. So roll that left shoulder up and back. Squeeze the thighs towards each other, squeeze into the bed. Lift the left arm to the sky, looking up. Steady your breaths, in and out. This is a balance. Big breath in, look down to your front foot, transitioning into Asha Chandrasana. Again now. Then exhale, reaching forwards into a warrior three. And taking hold of the strap around the right big toe, or holding onto it with your peace fingers. Reach your right arm back. Two more breaths. Then into our, our Parabrita Ardha Chandrasana. So that's your revolved half moon. So right hand down, right leg lifts, left arm lifts. And into our standing split. Lower your right leg down, drop to the knees, and drop into child's pose. Well done, everybody. Just check in with how you feel. Feeling the heart beating strong. Feeling the breath flowing. Roll your shoulders, soften your shoulders forward, let them drop forward. Arms the hands reaching up to the sky. Two more breaths like this. And then coming up, let's take a little seated twist. 
taking the left foot across the right leg and twisting round to the left. You can take your right palm to face forwards to the side and then reaching the left arm around behind the back to reach to the right hip and the curve your left shoulder. Two more steady breaths. Just stretching the legs out because they work quite hard in these balances. Lots of little muscles and tendons to help us stabilize the body. So they work really, really hard in those standing balances. So giving them a nice grateful stretch here. Into Gomakasana. So keep your legs as they were, but now tilt yourselves forwards a little bit, bring the weight forwards so you can stack the knees one on top of the other, bring the heels in. If this is really hurting your hips, you can sit on a block or a cushion. Right arm reaches up, bring it down between the shoulder blades, left hand to reach below. Big breath in, and then hinging from the hip creases, hold your chest down onto your top knee. You can rest your chin onto the top knee. Keep your right arm away from pressing onto the head so you can keep your spine nice and straight. Not pushing it over to the side. The inhale to come up. Release the arms. Let's switch it to the other side. Reach the left arm up, bring it down. The right arm reaches up from below. Clasp hold of your hand or use a strap if you need to. Big breath in, lift and lengthen, exhale. Hinge forwards. Using the exhale to release. Really relax into Folding further forwards. Up we can extend the legs, dandasana. Reaching up, stretch the hamstrings now. Reach forwards into Prashimottanasana. Give the shoulders a little shake out. Lengthen the spine, breath in. And exhale, release them. Just remember that allowing that we had thought of in the beginning. So allowing the body to release down. Inhale to come up. Let's bring our feet together. Take a little brighter kunasana. Tilt and hinge forwards. Opening up the hips. Another three breaths. Inhale, up we come. Let's just invert ourselves just for a moment. So roll down onto your backs. Go over into plow. have to remove my, my ponytail, which is in the way. <laughs> so do not move your head from side to side when you're in plow or shoulder stand. Plant the hands to the floor, come up onto your shoulders. And then toes touch down, you can wiggle your shoulders and elbows a little bit closer together. Extend the arms away, clasp the hands together, the little fingers pushing into the floor. Squeeze the thighs and lift the thighs away from the head. So lifting the hips up nice and high. So this prepares us for shoulder stand. So extend 
the heels further away. Then taking your hands from here onto the lower back, fingertips pointing up. So really creating a nice tripod effect with the elbows into the floor, nice and close together. Squeeze into your pelvic floor. Maybe squeeze navel to spine, supporting everything there. Chin to chest, toes reaching to the sky. Stacking the hips nice and high, as high as the shoulders as is possible. Let's take another 10 deep breaths here. You can close your eyes. Keep the focus and attention inwards. And dropping your knees to the forehead, nice and slowly. Or taking the knees either side of the ears, so that shins, knees drop to the floor. You can wrap the arms around the backs of the legs, kind of the person. And then transitioning down into fish pose, that's the answer. So hands pushing down to the floor, arms extended using the arms and the abdominal strength to roll down through the spine. Lowering the legs with control. Squeezing to that wonderfully strong pelvic floor. Extend the toes, elbows tucking close. And you lift the chest and heart. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. And then drop the crown of the head back down towards the earth. Five deep breaths, big belly breaths. Feel the deep rise and fall of your abdominals. The abdominal breathing is really good here. So bringing the breath all the way down to the belly. Take a deep breath in to push into the elbows to gently lift the head to the, to the toes. And then roll your shoulders apart, remove the hands from underneath the bottom. And then you can do whatever you need to now. So some people feel that after a shoulder stand, they need to just stretch out the lower back a bit. So you can window wipe the legs from side to side. Of course, pop on some jumpers and socks so you don't get cold now as we finish with a little relaxation. Hug your knees to the chest, or even draw some circles with the knees. So you're giving your lower back a little grateful massage. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for working with me today. So picking your position to relax. Of course, it's your, your practice. So if you feel like you need to extend the legs up the wall, do so. Extend the legs along or bring the feet in and have the knees drop towards each other if you feel you need the, to tilt the pelvis and press the lower back into the floor. If you have any lower back um, discomfort, it feels really nice to do that. So you choose what works for you. You can roll the head side to side, giving your neck a little stretch out. And now settling in. Do your Shavasana. Whatever you choose is right for you. Having the eyes closed so we can check in with how we feel in this moment. Softening the face and taking a little smile to the lips. Feeling every point of contact of your body with the floor, with your mat, with the earth. What do you feel? What part of the body contacts with the floor? Your heels, your calves, the backs of the knees, the thighs, the buttocks, maybe the waist or the lower back. 
the upper back, the shoulders, backs of the upper arms, the elbows, the forearms, the wrists, the tops of the hands, the back of the head. Just see all of those places that contact with the floor. And then imagine them grounding themselves, sinking into your mat. So softening and softening deeply into your mat. So relaxing all of the muscles and tendons in the body, all the ligaments. Just feel as though you're fully supported so that you can just let go. But if there's any sensations that arise, allow it to be. So whatever is here right now is meant to be. And it's perfect as it is. Just allowing here to be in this moment and fully accepting it as it is. Feeling the wave of the breath flowing in and out. Just ride that wave. And coming back to your intention. What was your intention? Maybe reaffirm that intention. Three times silently or out loud to yourself. And now wiggling your fingers and toes. Reach your arms overhead, stretch your arms and legs, give yourselves a lovely stretch, and tense up the whole body as you do so, big breath in and then <sighs> relax. Hug your knees to your chest and then roll over onto your right side and gently come up to a cross-legged seated position or come to your knees. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just come back to Burasana where we started. See how you feel now. Just keep your eyes closed for another few moments. Reset the spine so it's long and tall reaching to the sky. Warm up your hands, give them a little rub together. Activate all that lovely energy in your hands. Take your left hand to your heart, your right hand to your belly. Give thanks to your body. Give thanks to your breath. Thanks to your heart. Give thanks to yourself. The light in me honors the light in you. Thank you, friends. Namaste. Thank you. Sorry about the delay this morning. Hope to see you soon. Have a lovely, lovely weekend. Bye for now. Hello, we're going for a walk?